Hey everyone, it's Amy here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so very much for being here today. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so very much for your continued support on my channel. I am super excited to show you these vinyl records that I am going to be pouring on. But first, just so you're aware that the two records that I used in these pieces were damaged beyond repair. I did not paint on records that were playable, so please do not get upset at me. I happened to mention this to a couple of my family members, and they had a little bit of a freak out. But, however, like I said, <laughs> these records were damaged beyond repair, and I actually had them given to me by a friend. He has some amazing pieces of art in his apartment, very bright and colorful, which is totally up my alley. And so when I had mentioned about painting on vinyl records, he had a couple that he was not able to play on his record player. And so he gave them to me and I am painting on them for him. So like I said, he likes bright colors. Um, I picked out a couple of colors from the pieces that he currently has, and it actually ends up being almost a rainbow. Uh, I did not use any purple. However, I used every other color of the rainbow, and I am using Aussie Floetrol to do swipes. And like our fabulous Molly, uh, I added in some black into the background uh, just to give it a little bit of contrast and I also am doing my swipes with uh, the black as well. So for any of you who want to attempt to pour on any vinyl records that you may have at home, uh, here's a couple of little tips that I discovered. If you have Glad Press and Seal, put it on the back over the hole. Uh, it will keep your the hole covered so that as you're painting, uh, your paint won't be pulled like how the paint gets pulled off the sides if you don't scrape your edges. The Glade Press and Seal, or Glad Press and Seal, however you want to pronounce that, uh, keeps the paint in place while it dries. And then uh, when the paint was almost completely dry, I was able to then poke the hole uh, out. So it completely uh, is up to you whether or not you want to keep it completely intact without a hole in the center. But I wanted these to look like records. I wanted them to be recognizable as records. So when the paint was still soft but not movable, I just poked it through with a pencil. Uh, I also did not do any kind of prep work to the records except for uh, cleaning them really, really well with isopropyl alcohol, just 70%. I cleaned both sides just to get any oils that uh, were there from touching them with your hands because the oils from your hands will transfer and they can cause a lot of problems with your paints. And if you have a cake spinner, they fit absolutely perfectly on a cake spinner with no room to spare. So it was a, it was a perfect fit and it worked out absolutely amazing. So this is the first piece. The base is just a regular, uh, it's my Montmart titanium white that I use in a lot of my pieces. The second record you'll see I uh, switched the base up to a pearl white. So be sure to stay tuned to see that. Uh, it's such a subtle little contrast. It gives each piece its own little unique flair and um, these pieces turned out absolutely amazing. So here's a quick little close up before I switch over to record number two. I love how the colors blend together with this swipe technique. So this is Deco Arts White Pearl. Nice little shimmery background. And I do the same technique, but of course each piece always has its own little flair to it, like I said, and uh, adding in that 
black into the background just gives it such a beautiful contrast love 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 doing this technique just like the last piece that I posted for my daughter uh, an ocean for Izzy she is leaving for university and her and her roommate are already planning on their decorating theme so check that piece out I will link the card up above here Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate if you would do that if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear what my viewers think of the pieces that I have created. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video and be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. The dried varnished versions of these two vinyl records will be in a future video coming up uh, which I am in the process of planning and getting all together. Uh, like I've said in the last couple of videos that I've posted, I'm really bad at sharing the dried results. I like to share the varnished versions and not just the dried results. I'm a little bit picky that way and I have decided that I'm going to put together uh, a dried version, a dried results video is what I'm trying to say. Uh, completely varnished pieces and so I'm also working on getting everything varnished for you guys. All right, this piece is turning out amazing. The lacing with the pearl white base just has such a unique uh, little, uh, I don't know how you say it. it, it just makes the Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol shimmer for some reason, I guess maybe because it's a pearl base. <laughs> but um, when I compare the two of them, with the plain white base to the pearl white base. I love how you can't really tell that there's a difference. It's kind of like when a friend of mine dyes their hair and you're like, hmm, something's different about you. What is it? I can't quite figure it out. Same thing with these two pieces. You look at them and you know that there's something different. It's just hard to figure it out if you're not really sure. So with this technique, I like to have in little pieces of solid color, uh, which I ended up not having uh, when I finished doing my swipes in comparison to the first one. So I just added in some solid pieces of color and then did more spinning out. Um, I was wearing shorts this day and with all of the spinning and I tend to get a little aggressive with my spinner as you saw there it uh, kind of slid off to the side I completely covered my legs my stomach everything I was covered in paint but that's what makes painting fun so here's a little picture of my legs it actually was way worse than what this looks and my daughter had said, Mom, everyone's going to ask you about your tattoos, and she showed a little little snippet of it in that last picture. So I'm a nurse. This is my big nursing tattoo. Just thought I would share that with you. And here is the close-up of this piece. The orange is the Pebeo Iridescent Orange Yellow, and it in itself has a beautiful shimmer. And I love it against the pearl background. I have a few more vinyl records here that uh, were given to me by my parents um, that are not playable as well. They're also very, very damaged. If you have any suggestions for a color theme, I seem to be stuck on an ocean theme right now, but uh, I would like to get some suggestions on some different colors to put together. So if you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment down below on what you would like to see on the other two vinyl records that I have, I would really, really love some inspiration. 
I'm really loving this pearl background. The dried version is so pretty. I can hardly wait for it to be ready to varnish. And like I said, I have a video coming up soon with the dried results of several pieces. And um, varnish just makes them pop in so many different ways. And uh, I'm not a huge resin fan, but um, I love my gloss varnish. Once again, thank you so very much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate all of you. Have a great day and a great week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!